All right, so we're in the inn, and uh, there's a couple people here. A shady patron, uh, a disgruntled patron, and Lorana. So let's talk to the disgruntled patron. Leave me alone. Okay, he's disgruntled. Let's talk to the shady one. What are you looking at? And he's Never shady. Been drinking peace. No, no, absolutely not. Dang it. I'm going to have to work on that. Let's talk to Lorana. Good day. Okay, Lorana doesn't want to talk to us. Let's talk to the bartender, innkeeper. Welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Yeah, uh, why is the inn called the Spoiled Princess? It was my father's idea. He ran the inn before me, and he named it for my sister. She was his little princess. Princess decided the country was too dull for her and moved to Denerim. More glamorous, she said. Well, she is well, spoiled. Well, she was found murdered, robbed of all the trinkets my father bought her with his hard-earned money. My father died of shock and heartbreak. Mother stopped eating, and I got the struggling in. The name stuck. That's a story. Oh, goodness. He needs to change the, story, the name of the inn. Uh, well, I'd like a drink after that uh, story. Of course. What would you like? What do you got? Oh, okay. Ooh, we do need health poultices. I'll take this. And these three. And I'll take all of these. I'm definitely going to need an injury kit. I'm spending money like I just have it, guys. I need this too. Um, mm, that looks... No. But this, no, we don't need that. Okay, ooh, we do need the wine though. Let's, let's grab the wine. Um... We should probably look at trying to make some health poultices, if I remember correctly. Let me look. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think elf fruit. I mean, I've probably got plenty, but elf fruit is cheap, so I'm going to buy it. And I can probably get rid of some stuff. Why is there? Oh, there's a stack of 25. Okay, so there's nothing in here to loot, I don't think. Can't go through that door. Let's go out and let's head to the mage tower. Oh, more death root. Let's talk to Carol. Overcompensating. You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Yes. Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Well, I am a Grey Warden, and I seek the assistance of the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Yes. Prove it. Okay, well, I don't have anything to prove to you. No. Um, oh, I don't have to prove anything to you. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, prove it. I have these documents here. Yeah, I have these documents. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? I think you're a butch. Um, aren't queens female? Um, my documents are actually real. Yes, they are. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous gray wardening. Okay, well, um, don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, there aren't any darkspawn here. Grey Wardening isn't something you do. It's what you are. <laughs> um, don't be ridiculous. Ah, uh -huh. oh, I knew it. I bet you can't even sense them. A real Grey Warden is supposed to be able to sense Darkspawn. I do sense Darkspawn. I can't sense any now because there aren't any here. Exactly. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want Darkspawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. What is this, 20 questions? No, it's red like any other blood. Kill it. It's not black, but it burns you and it touches you. Huh. Yeah, let's... Yeah. Oh, pleasant, eh? Good thing I don't have to kill them, then. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. No, I need to get across. Look, uh... uh should I intimidate or persuade? I don't think my intimidation is all that great. I'm going to persuade you. Your superior wouldn't like that you've given me trouble. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? 
Wait, actually, he would. Good point. Yes, he'll be very mad if you don't let me in. We well, we should try our best to avoid that, shouldn't we? Yes, let's let's go with that one. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden, alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Yes, please do. Come along, I suppose. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Creepy. The fate is a dream realm where spirits of all beings. Whoa! <laughs> and I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. <laughs> the doors are barred. Are they keeping people out? Or in. Now we wait and pray. Oh, wow, that that scared me for no reason at all. Okay, what's going on here? You're Gregor, I assume. So you're in charge. You're Gregor, I assume. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across Oops. the lake. Sorry, guys. Hit We're the dealing mic. with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. No, the mages have an obligation to the Ray Wardens. But I seek the uh, mage's help to defeat the Darkspawn. Not without a promise for assistance in the coming war. No. The mages have an obligation to the Grey Wardens. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn. But it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men. And the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. Yes. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. Yeah, this is probably why we shouldn't have brought Sten. Uh, what can I do to help? How did this happen? Sounds like the Templars haven't been doing their job. You said something about abominations. Let's go with that one. Creatures of the Fade can use mages to enter our world. A mage in such a spirit's clutches is changed. His flesh twisted. His mind shattered. Well, what can I do to help? Uh, have all the mages become abominations? How did this happen? Let's go with that. Have all mages they been... They may as well have. What does it matter? They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. Um. What is your plan? Why don't you rally your men and kill them all? Well, they've probably already done that, seeing as we have some hurt Templars around here. Um, what is your plan? I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. Okay, well, that's no solution. Doors can be broken. You shut in everyone in there, including innocent mages? Not just mages, but my Templars also. I had no choice. The abominations must be contained at all costs. Mm. We do not mean for the doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. I have sent word to Denerim calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Okay, well, um, hmm. What good will that do? The right of annulment? The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the mage circle. Completely. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Let's the avoid that. The mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Well, I agree with you on that. I don't agree with the annulment. So the mages are not defenseless. Some still must live. Yeah. If any are still alive, the maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... Well, there is always hope. Siempre hay esperanza. Um, I will look for survivors. Yeah. I assure you, 
An abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Well, I can do what I want. Abominations cannot stand against me. I have confidence in my abilities. I must try. It is the right thing to do. Yes. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Well, we're going. We need the mages and we're going. So, yeah. I, it sounds dire, but, you know, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We're your only hope. That was over. We're so nerdy. Supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. Okay, well, um, I need some supplies. Yes. Would you like to trade? Yes, I would. All right. So you've got some help, health poultices. You've got some injury kits. Um, I just probably should have taken all of that. I am really running out of money here. Okay, so let's see what we can sell. There are some pretty good stuff in here. Like this injury kit. I mean, I probably can come back and get things, but I really need to empty out um, what um, items I do have. So let's sell that. We don't need that. I'm pretty sure we don't need that, but we could hold on to it. Um, oh, you know what, though? I probably should have kept this. Let's and sell that. Um, let's go ahead and let's sell that. Okay. Um, we are still, I'm pretty sure I can sell this and the fancy vase. Private documents, blank vellum. I don't know about this stuff. I really don't. Um... I mean, that doesn't give us much room. Oh, well, I guess I can get rid of this bow. Um, yeah, the long sword. Okay. I'm pretty sure th these are fine. I don't need that for now. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, that gives us a little room, not much. I'm pretty sure we'll go through quite a bit. Do we need this bracelet? Yeah, we do. Okay. So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let me quick save. And um, let's go. Yeah, I know we're crazy. Oh boy, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and so it begins. All right, let's loot. Oh, that's right. Okay, let's, please give me, okay. So I don't know if my lock picking skill is going to um, open up all these chest because I'm pretty sure there's some that I won't be able to open up but I can always come back all right, all right. there's an iron ring oh it's awesome but we're gonna try to open as many as possible did I miss okay all these dead bodies oh my gosh all right um, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like me to read some of these codexes or codices. I normally do not read them myself, but if you're interested in the lore, I can certainly make a separate video on codices. Could be kind right, of right. could be kind of boring. That's why I don't read them um, while I'm gaming. Okay, we did get a necklace. I want to look at it really quick and um, see if I can put this on someone. So willpower, that goes on my mage. She already has something. Okay, so we'll leave it be for now. I'll get on. Is 
It's you. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Okay. Well, I, I recognize you. You're Wen. What are you doing here? I am a mage of the circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. Okay, well, I came here seeking the aid of the mages. Um, yeah. And you were told that the circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? Um, don't worry, the right of an all... I mean, do I want to be honest? Let's just be outright honest. Don't worry, the right of annulment has not arrived. They sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Um, what happened here? Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. Just a quick backstory. Um, there are um, different origins that you can play uh, for as starting off. And one of them is a mage. And you, if you play as a mage, you start off in the circle, which would be this particular tower that we're in now. And you will meet, I believe you meet Aldred. So you would, if you played as a mage, as a mage, you would kind of know what's going on already. And scene. <laughs> uh, what do you intend? And yet you're still sitting here with this whole time. Leave it to me. I will save the mages. So what do you intend? I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower. So nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Excuse me. Um, yeah. Very well. I will help you. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Um... Gregor will only accept it if the first enchanter says so. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Okay, then we should set off immediately. Will the children be safe here? Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. Okay, well, if you think that's best. Um, well, I suppose that could work. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress to rescue these pathetic excuses for mages they allow themselves to be corralled like cattle mindless now their masters have chosen death for them and i say let them have it well morgan that is not your decision to make i run this here camp um you could have been one of them if things were different i've made my decision we will help win um, hold your tongue, you harpy. <laughs> I made my decision. We're going to help. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynn, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Okay, well, let us be off. We have talked away enough time have faith we will not fail we will not fail no your confidence is refreshing though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses if you are ready let us go end this yes okay so we have to bring Wen with us um because her little circle is locked i am not really sure who i want to bring I know we need a tank, so we're going to bring yes. Alistair. I feel like we should bring Morgan, but Morgan has been getting on my nerves lately. 
Um, I feel like maybe Liliana would be a good choice. Um, darn it. Okay, so it would be nice to have a couple mages, seeing that we are dealing with um, the mage tower. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to regret this, but I'll Indeed. take I'll take Morgan. All right. So our party is full. We've got Win. She is our new recruit. I'm going to go over here and unlock the chest that I cannot unlock. Great. Like I said, I can always come back. Um, let's try to talk to people here before we go. I don't suppose this is what you expected the circle to be like, is it? No, not really. Um, I always thought it would be more orderly. No, this is not a common occurrence, I take it. I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. That's why the Templars have to, to do away with us. The swords are like the, the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. You're delirious, and I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> That's one way of put it, putting it. Uh, wouldn't it have been better if Andraste hadn't died at all? I mean, yeah. Andraste only died because of man's foolishness and pride. We need to atone for this. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. She has a death warrant. Um, or death wish. Okay, um, if you say so. Uh, babble, your, babble to yourself elsewhere. You're just, okay. Yeah, uh, the horror of this ordeal has unhinged you, I see. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. So you're wishing death on innocence because why? All right, let's talk to Petra. Look after her, will you? Okay, I will. Don't worry. I don't know if she's up to this, especially not after. I just worry. Um, not after what? I was on my way down to the library when I heard screaming and a demon came around the corner. Its eyes were afire with evil. I was certain it was my death come upon me. I think I screamed. I was so afraid. And then Wynne was there, in front of me, shielding me. It was light and fire, blood and chaos. When it was over, the demon was dead, but Wynne wasn't moving either. I was so afraid she was gone. Okay, well, she's talking about Wynne like she's not there. Um, well, she seems to have survived. Just look after her, all right? She might be completely fine, but then again, maybe she didn't come away from that totally unharmed. Um, don't worry. She'll be safe with me, I hope. Thank you. And thank you again for helping us. She might die a couple times, you know. I'm just forewarning you. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. Yeah, uh, what are you waiting for? Remove it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that just sounded rude. Um, you did what you had to do when. It made me very <laughs> weary at times. But I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? I am ready, yes. Um, I'm ready. Destroy the barrier. All right. Be on your guard. Okay, into the fray. There is no turning back. Yep. I mean, there is, but... No, there's not. Ooh. It's a massacre! And no one's Let getting out of the iron your Whoa! I forgot about those guys. Run! Okay. Yeah, they um, burst into flames when they die, so we need to run. Okay. Um, Wynn is a healer, so that's awesome. I forgot about that. Let me bring up my, my doge. Is he cute? He's so cute. All right. Um, soldier corpse. 
lots of help. Oh, you know what? Let me see what Wynn has on. Okay, so she has, oh, let me see her staff compared to this one. Okay, yeah, her staff is way better. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a necklace on. So let's give her that one. Um, I don't think I have, I do have this ugly cowl here. And her robes are way better. I mean, we could give her these boots just for extra armor. Look at that helm. It's so bad. <laughs> so bad. Or cowl. I'm sorry. They don't wear helms. Um, let's see. I actually, what I need to do, um, if you guys don't mind, is throw these on her um, bar here. Uh, yeah, so I should also put lyrium. Okay, all right. Um, now's better than later. Nothing but junk, torn book. I get you a ladder so you can get off my back wait what was this over here <clears throat> excuse me oh I want to do that where is it at oh shoot here it is summoning sciences exercise one address the summoning font select the second passage from the tome of spirit personages second shelf yeah I read that wrong uh, pass open hands through the first summoning flames. Select first flames. Okay, so address the summoning font. That is over yeah, somewhere. Um, let's grab this apprentice note. Um, okay, so this is the summoning font. So address all right, it. All right. I think that was right. Oh, shoot. Now I don't remember. Okay. Was it here? Here it is. Okay. Um, select the second passage from the Tome of Spirit. Second passage from the Tome of Spirit. Is this it over here? Yeah. I'll get on it. Okay. And... Um, pass open hands through the first summoning flames. First summoning flames? Summoning the, fr is it this one? I usually don't do this, but for some reason I want to do it. It's a nug! Oh, and he's dead. Oh, but he has something. And that was junk. Okay, that was kind of morbid. Um, okay, what was the next thing? Here it is. Okay, exercise two. Address the summoning font. Recite the Rodercom's uncommon, uncommon, uncommon calling. Okay, so here. <clears throat> Rodercom. There it is. Okay. Great. Step back. Okay, okay, I walked right into that. Um, where was it? Ooh, I forget what it was. The E, something about the Rodergums. Rodergums, yeah, here it is. Is it on this side? Here it is. Okay, then the next item up for bid um, was... Place one silver coin at the feet of the statue of Magus Govrish. Pass open 
Pause open hands for the second summoning flame. Okay, this is the third one. Let's loot this guy first. Um, and let's loot this other guy. Oh wait, there was nothing to loot. Okay, so we need to give a coin over here. This better be worth it. Okay, now I need to do what was it, the second. Okay. This is why I don't do this. This takes, oops, sorry, dog. Sorry, pet Augie. Aw. Sorry, boy, I didn't mean to, to disturb you. I was doing things. Okay. Um, there we go. Yay. Whoa. Okay, that, all right, is that it? Is there? Okay, exercise three. Okay, I guess that's it. Alert senior magi, senior magi le of lesson commencement, address the 70 font. Alert, is there like a, okay, so I, I guess I just address the 70 font. Okay, um, I feel like there might be something ominous is going to happen. Okay, so recite the second passage of Elvorn's Grande Bestia, uh, Bestiary. Second sealed text, third area. Okay. Okay. I probably should have read the second one rather than keep it going back. Um, and... All right, so trace the chosen sigil on the first area common table. Place a lock of hair between the pages of the Spiritorum Ethrealis, Ethra right of the sealed text. Okay, so the chosen sigil and the Spiritorium. Chosen sigil. Wait. Chosen sigil. What? I... Okay, let me read that again. Dee dee dee. Okay. Um, trace this chosen sigil on the first air. Oh, the common, the table. Yeah. Okay, and then the... Um, spiritorium. There it is. I found it on the other side. No, is it over here? It is on the other side. I probably should not be doing this. I'm just doing things I have no idea. Like, like really, I'm in a mage tower. I am not a mage. I'm just following some instructions. I have no idea what could happen. That's so wise. Perform Caleb's gesture, two fingers, at the statue of Magus. Uh, Gorvish, breathe on the dried hemlock, and then okay. So the phylactery, phylactery, and the magus, the magus. Now's better than later. This is gonna run a little bit long, and the phylactery is this it? I just want to make sure this is the right one because I don't want to have to do this all over again. Got it. Okay, and I think there was one more thing. Um, pass the hands through the third. Okay, that's it. I'm a little scared. I'm not really sure what is going to happen. Okay, let's do this. Okay, was not expecting that. Okay, well that was, ooh, charged mitts hardened for mages. Awesome, who can use these? I think I want to give it to my favorite mage, 
<laughs> um, okay, she really doesn't have anything. Does Morgan have anything, though? Morgan doesn't have anything. Um, I feel bad, but I'm going to give... Um, you know what? Let's give this to Morgan. Morgan does DPS, so that's her main spec. I'm just going to go ahead and give her those. Okay. Um, let's save here. All right, that actually took longer than it should have, so we're going to stop here. And um, I may just go ahead and go with a third episode, but um, I'll be back. Okay, you guys are probably wondering why I'm here at the loading screen. I am actually going to end the episode for today, but um, you guys know the drill. If you uh, want to leave me a comment, please do. I'd appreciate it. And if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a member of the family, go ahead and drop a subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll know when I upload. I do upload thrice weekly and I hope to see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Ciao!